a month after the death of Wagner chief or ex Wagner chief Yevgeny Prigozhin who died in a plane crash the Kremlin has now moved to take direct control of the Wagner group's operations in the Central African Republic Africa is an important region for Russia and they are ensuring their position in the region in one of the first indications of what will happen to the late Wagner boss foreign empire president of the Central African Republic in an interview with the Washington Post said that Wagner's estimated 1000 men would remain in the country he also confirmed reports that Russia's deputy defense minister and major general of Russia's military intelligence chief had visited Bangui this month and had told him that Wagner would now be run by the Russian defense ministry last week French president hosted the Central African Republic president in Paris and implored him to oust Wagner while an American private military company has offered to replace the mercenary outfit in the country to which the Central African Republic president replied that the Russians had not been his first choice when he enlisted their help to push rebels back from the capital in 2018 now the African president further added and I quote here if the United States wanted to send help we would take it but that's not to say it would be a replacement for Russia so everyone's playing their cards carefully Russia has implanted itself in every facet of the Central African Republic in recent years as a test case of its mission to expand its foreign footprint and Africa is definitely an important region for the Russians Wagner advisors direct Wagner advises direct local politicians and its mercenaries stand accused of atrocities while defending the government the group has taken control of timber concessions and gold reserves worth as much as one billion dollars while driving France the former colonial power and the US out of positions of influence in the country as we're seeing one coup after another